There are some <laughs> wonderful stories in this book. I want I kind of pulled something out because I think it says a lot about you. Your father made fortunes and he lost fortunes. He attempted suicide. There I've was a lot going on. I have never I have never discussed that before. That, There's a lot in this book I've that, never discussed. Exactly. Before. And and here you, you actually interview yourself. You said, here's the big question. If my parents had not descended into financial ruin, would I have had the success I have had? All this in a strange way, was this my destiny? And the answer is yes? You know, I had to work at that point. There are a lot of people, men and women, who have to work. So if the job is not wonderful, that's just too bad. You have to hang in there. Now, did the drive come from that? Did the ambition come from that? I'm not sure. But I do know that there were times when things were so difficult that I might have run home to Mama. Uh, or had I been married, I would have said, you know what, I'm going to stay home. Part of this book is the balancing act that we are still trying to have between mar having marriage and, and children and a career. But I don't know how much of it was that I had to and how much of it was that I just wanted to. You write in the book, you were married three times, and you had a heavy heart. You had, I read this. I had a heavy heart before I walked down <laughs> the aisle. I thought, oh, my know. heavens. Yeah. What, what, what was it? I'll tell you, probably, if it were today, I would have lived with them. But you didn't live with any yeah. of them. I mean, when I got married the first time, I was 23. That was very old. My friends were all married. And I just thought it was time. Um, now, I went from my parents' house uh, to, the, to the wedding <laughs> bed, I guess. I probably would have lived with them today and known that this was n not the right marriage for me. Right, right. But I'm not proud of having been married three times. No, no I mean, I would, I would have been proud of having made one marriage work. But one was a bicoastal marriage, the most recent one. That's very hard after a few years. And um, they, they were all really very nice men, and my relationship with them pretty much continued. But I'm, I'm, I'm just not very good at marriage, I guess. Which brings us to what everybody has buzzed about this book. Were you surprised about the reaction to the, I hate to even call it an affair, a relationship with Senator Ed Brock? Well, let me tell you what happened. Uh, this book is 612 pages. That's six pages. Exactly. In the book. Yeah. But what happened was that I had done, I had taped Oprah Winfrey's show about 10 days before the book was published. The book was embargoed. That is, no one could buy it, no one could read it until the publication date. And Oprah's people sent out this one section about Senator Brooke. Uh, and that's all anybody knew. So they thought this is a kiss and tell book. I put it in, not because I was trying to be salacious and I didn't realize that it was going to have that sort of buzz. I was trying to show the difference between 31 years ago what the relationship between an African-American man and a white woman would have destroyed both of our careers. And today, when we have a, an African-American running for president, I put it in to say, look how times have changed. Look at the history. I was certainly not the first person to have had a small romance with a man who was married. His, the woman he was married to has passed on, or I wouldn't have written about it. Um, and you sent him a letter, as I understand and he, it. He knew that it was going Did to be. Did he acknowledge? Him. Did he say that's fine? Uh, well, he wrote back to me. Okay. But but also, uh, we knew it was wrong, and that's why we broke up. I, you know, mm -hmm. I knew it was wrong to be with a married man. So that when you read it, you say, "Isn't this interesting?" When you see it as the only thing in the book, so you know, I think. Oh, you know, why did I put it in? But I, and he was not the only one I wrote about. I wrote about Senator John Warner, whom I had a, such a fondness for and still do, and Alan Greenspan. But, but that was, was not what was put yeah. out. So You've seen a lot of action, been, Barbara Walters. <laughs> I, I have been unmarried more than I married, and I'm not exactly a child, you know. We should all have your love life. Let me well, tell you, the girls in the office were talking. Oh, like, I hope so. Barbara my, is hot. At my stage of life, it's very nice to think that I'm still hot. But it was funny for me to feel that this was the big, this was, this is 31 yeah. years yeah, ago, yeah. and that it should now be the big buzz. You know, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry.